All right, so let's uh, let's get this show on the road. I've got a new uh, Twitch app that's in XSplit. We'll see how that goes. See if the chat works any better than it's been working so far. Um, and uh, hopefully get a little more richer in today. This year, I'm participating in Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Why? Because they saved my daughter's life two times. The first time was just within a few days of her being born. Um, they found out that she had um, something wrong with her intestines and they did a life-saving surgery. The second time was when she was two years old and again, an intestinal issue that they found and uh, with a quick and easy surgery, uh, they were able to uh, fix her up and save her life once again. Um, she had the, the same problem that she had actually was uh, what killed one of the BGs. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents as so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors they were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page. But um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. Hey there. So, uh, there's quite a thunderstorm going on outside, so if I lose you, um, that's what it was. I don't know if I'm gonna load back up. I have a bunch of other things I need to bring up if that happens. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and start up uh, The Witcher, and uh, we'll see if uh, this new this new uh, um, Twitch chat thing that Xbit has works better than the previous one, which would would not update it if I was in the middle of a game. Um, so I'll kind of test it out while I'm loading the game. Once I start loading the save file, <coughs> I'm also experimenting with a different placement for the camera um, because. Um, the chat's over here, so this way I'm actually looking at you uh, when I'm chatting. I'm not looking at you when I'm playing the game, but uh, we'll see if it works out a little better this way. So um, now that we're in the game, I'll do a uh, test to see if that updates uh, <coughs> while the game is running. <coughs> Alright, so... Let's see what my quests were. Oh, good. So it does update. That's great. Um, so that means any chats are going to show in real time. That's great. If I could just get the donations to work that way, it'd be awesome. Right now, the donations do not update while I'm in the game, which is kind of annoying in case someone does a donation while I'm playing. All right. Uh, probably because the guy who came up with this did it, came up with it for um, for OBS, and I'm using XSplit. Um, um, speaking of which, um, I am thinking about uh, um, starting to use OBS on Linux if I play any games on Linux. Um, that should be pretty fun. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me too. 
It was amazing. <laughs> I always wanted to see what it's like. This guy's funny. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport Let's see if my uh, audio is coming out. Well. Say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh, hmm. Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there, the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. <laughs> Alrighty. Such a long journey here. I must get such <laughs> Cool, I can drop some stuff off with the innkeeper. Yeah. Welcome to my inn, traveller. It's a crazy inn piece again there. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? <laughs> no Witcher, uh... Racism, that's nice. I have questions. Ask, Traveller. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Cool. Tell me about Tobias. He lives in the village but prepares for a wedding. So likely has no time. I'll talk to him anyway. If he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Julian. Thanks for the advice. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, Traveller. What's special about this settlement? Merc. The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Vodianoi? An ancient underwater race. We used to respect each other, but relations have worsened. Tell me about them. They appeared long ago, before the city was engulfed. They live in underwater palaces. They produce tools and baubles, including the famous Stones of Is, supposedly magical. Their warriors, though fierce in battle, seldom attack on land. They chiefly drive away treasure hunters. An underwater race of rational beings. Interesting. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? Where's the village mayor? Well, there's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut. <laughs> so... Okay. I'll find it. How can I help? Any interesting news? Oh, wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, <coughs> is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. One thing. Yes? Okay, I 
think that gets rid of all my useless crap. Let's see. Oh no, wait, I can get rid of this stuff. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You must know some interesting stories. Sure! I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away, lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? <laughs> I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, Witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Morum, the hold of the witches. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. What the? She was a source. What am I looking at? The witchers are feared the like uncontrolled or something. power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane <sighs> magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress. Learning to love killing, death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores. Yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. <coughs> when she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she joined the witch and the sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the witcher. The sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? One thing. Yes? He doesn't really look sad, but let's see. You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? You suggest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Mm. No matter. How can I help? Farewell.
So, you like to gamble? I love gambling. Female gamblers are rare. So are interesting men. If you don't care to play, leave. It's time I was on my way. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a Witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Oh, it looks like I have two people watching. Hey there. Feel free to come in if you want. Um, I'll actually be right back. I have to take care of something. I know it's not the best thing for a stream, but uh, I'll be back in just a second.